Today, I'm gonna to show you the best way to create Lightroom presets. Hey there, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And I'm so excited to share our technique for creating Lightroom presets. Now we actually have an entire library of Lightroom presets available on flurn.com and they're included with your Flurn Pro subscription. So if you're looking for a fantastic archive of Lightroom presets, of course I'm a little bit biased, but they're all created by professional photographers and editors and they're going to look amazing with any one of your photos. And the reason is, is because we create them using the best practices for Lightroom presets. And in today's video, I'm going to share those best practices with you. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom. We've got two different photos, pretty different backgrounds here. Now, whenever I'm creating presets, I like to have a variation of photos to test the preset out. You don't want something to look great on one photo and not so good on another image. So that's a really important part of creating the preset process. So let's go ahead and click on our second image. We're gonna start here and I'm gonna go to my develop module. Now here in our develop module, you have a lot of different sliders and controls on the right hand side and any changes that you make here can actually be applied to a Lightroom preset. Now I have three different pieces of advice for you when creating a preset. My first piece of advice is to make sure that your color temperature and that's your, you know, is it too warm or too cool or your exposure, make sure neither of those is included in your preset. The reason is you wanna make sure to apply a preset onto an image that's already pretty well exposed and has the white balance that you want. If you include things like your white balance or your exposure, let's say this image, you wanna just make it a little bit darker, okay? And in this image, that might look good, but maybe you're applying it to another image that's already a little bit on the dark side and it's just gonna make that way underexposed. So exposure and color temperature, you wanna leave those out of any type of preset that you're making. So I'm gonna hit enter there. So that's my first piece of advice. My next piece of advice is to make sure you keep skin tones in mind. So for instance, I'm gonna go over here to my tone curve. Let's say I'm gonna go to my green channel and I'm just gonna pull this and drag this way up. And I'm like, okay, that's a cool preset. Only thing is because I'm accessing like the relatively light colors, you know, lights and darks, basically this entire range from right about here to right about here, that's skin color range. So what I'm gonna do basically is make everyone's skin green uh, where I use this image. So it might look cool on a landscape, but on a portrait, something like that, you don't wanna make your highlights, especially any kind of cool colors. So your highlights, they shouldn't be towards green and they shouldn't be towards blue. So let's just right click here. I'm gonna delete this control point. You can see if I go towards blue, there we go. It's gonna make the high, it's gonna make our, my skin, my subject skin look a lot cooler as well. Now. Let's go ahead and delete this. I'll show what happens if we make it a little warmer. So we're gonna go to a red and I'm gonna pull in a little bit of red and then I'm gonna grow to blue and then we'll pull down our blue a little bit. So here you can see it tones my entire image, but it's actually warming up those highlights and this is gonna look good for any different type of skin. So it's totally okay to color tone your image. Just make sure your highlights are warm and that's gonna make your skin look a lot better. And my third piece of advice is to keep things simple. You don't have to make crazy adjustments with your Lightroom presets to have profound effects on your images. And the more simple you keep your adjustments, the more images they're going to work with. So again, number one, don't include white balance and exposure. Number two, make sure that your highlights are going to be a warm color, not a cool color. And number three is keep things simple. So following those pieces of advice, we're gonna go all the way back here to our import. There we go. It's gonna bring the image in as it was. Now we're gonna stick with this top section here and our tone curve. These are the two areas that I find are very powerful for Lightroom presets. Now what I wanna do is kind of create a little bit of a low contrast type of like film sort of image. So we're gonna go ahead and bring our contrast down a little bit. I'm gonna take my highlight value and we're gonna bring that down a little bit too to recover information in our highlights. We're gonna bring our shadow levels up just a little bit that's looking really, really good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and bring our texture up just a tiny bit and our clarity up a little bit as well. And we're gonna bring our vibrance up a little bit also. So you can see I'm making pretty subtle adjustments. Contrast and my highlights were, you know, those were pretty like strong adjustments, but everything is nice and simple. Let's go down to our tone curve. Now with our tone curve, we can take a look at our RGB. We've 
adjusted our red, green, and our blue channel. Now, one of our rules, or guidelines rather, is to make sure that your highlights are a warm color because that's gonna protect skin tones. But you can make your shadows a cool color. And I love to create cool bluish green shadows. So we're gonna go here to my blue channel, here in my tone curve, and I'm just gonna click on this point and drag it straight up. And you can see my shadows just get a lot cooler. Now, again, you don't wanna go too far, keep things subtle. So let's just go a little bit there. And now I'm gonna take my warm, my uh, highlights and I'm gonna drag that down. You can see how that's getting warmer and warmer. I'm exaggerating this here, but you wanna just go just a little bit. So you have nice cool shadows with warm highlights. Now we're gonna go to our green channel again. We're just gonna click, uh, click and drag this up. That's gonna put a tiny bit of green into our shadows. And then my highlights, we're gonna pull those down towards magenta a little bit. Again, I'm thinking about shadow colors kind of being my environment and highlight colors being skin tone. Okay, now let's go to our red channel. And here in our highlight range, I'm just gonna click this and drag that up just a tiny bit, like very, very, very subtle. All right, and this looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after. And in my opinion, this is a great starting place for a Lightroom preset. So let's go ahead and turn it into a preset. It's very easy to do. All we have to do is go to our presets right over here. We're just gonna click on our plus icon and we're gonna go to create preset. All right, our group, we're just gonna create a new group and I'm just gonna call this Flurn Lightroom Presets. All right, generally you wanna be pretty descriptive with your names. So we'll do this Flurn Low Contrast Film Blue Yellow. There we go. So you kind of have an idea of what it's actually going to do. It's gonna put blue in the shadows, yellow in the highlights, and it's gonna be low contrast. So. You can see a lot of these boxes are checked here, like the white balance and the exposure, things that we mentioned, hey, we probably don't want those things to be checked. We wanna make sure that the check boxes are only in the things that we actually adjusted. So let's just be sure, I'm gonna hit check none here, and we're just gonna make a couple of different changes. So did we affect our contrast? Yep, our highlights and our shadows, we affected those, and we affected our tone curve, okay? We affected our vibrance and our texture and clarity. So that's texture and clarity. And I didn't change anything else, okay? So these are the only things that you want to include in your Lightroom preset. Process variation is important. Uh, that'll help if someone's using a different version of Lightroom. So this is exactly what you wanna check. Make sure just to leave white balance and exposure out of there. Okay, and when you're done, it's time to hit create. And there we go. Let's go ahead and see our Flurn Lightroom presets and our Flurn Low Contrast Film Blue Yellow. So now let's go back to our grid view. I'm gonna hit G for my grid view. We're gonna go to our next image and see how it looks on the next image. And this is a good test. So let's hit D for our develop module. And we're just gonna go right here and click, boom, on our preset and there you can see. So if I just take a look at my before and after, here's my before and my after. Fantastic, you can see it works really well. And now both of these images look like they're kind of in the same family, right? Now this image just needs a little bit of white balance adjustments. So let's go double click on here. We'll go to our develop module and we're just gonna adjust our white balance. I'm gonna just bring it a little bit, there we go, a little bit less magenta in the end. But remember our temperature, our tint and our exposure were not included in the, in the Lightroom preset. So those adjustments you always wanna make on a per photo basis, and then make sure your presets are only supporting a well-exposed and a properly white balanced image. So there we have it. When creating Lightroom presets, be sure to leave out exposure and your white balance. Make sure to keep things subtle and make sure your highlights are a warm color and then your shadows can be a nice cool color. Personally, I love Lightroom presets. I think they're a great place to get started editing when you bring a photo in and maybe you're not exactly sure what you wanna do with it. Apply a Lightroom preset and then go ahead and make your own tweaks from there. It can really add a lot and give your images a unique style. And we have an entire library of Lightroom presets included in Flurn Pro. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you want a new free tutorial every single week, click on that subscribe button and we'll send one over. And when it's time to get your Lightroom presets, as well as we're talking awesome Photoshop, photography, Lightroom tutorials, it's time to check out Flurn Pro. We've got an exclusive discount for you in the description below. Thanks so much and I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.